Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builders Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Unit Hardware number DB800-605 slash US3 HMS. HMS. Um, Half Moon Strike is what that stands for. Um, for a surface bolt is what it is. It also uh, could be something that you'd see in a Dutch door bolt as well. This is a, a strike. I've got one removed from the packaging, and let's take a closer look at it. So this is their DB000. This is 605. 605 means three things. It means it's made of solid brass. It's in a polished finish, and it has a clear lacquer applied over it. Okay. Uh, available in different finishes. We'll discuss that in a moment. This is a piece of cast. I believe it's cast material. Let's take some dimensional properties and we'll talk about where you would use this. Overall width of the strike, about an inch. Overall depth, looks like it's about an inch and seven sixteenths. Overall height at the front end, looks like it's about seven sixteenths. Then the lip at the back end is about an eighth of an inch or so. Um, half moon strike, I guess you can see why they might call it a half moon strike. Um, I would call this a rim strike, um, only because you would uh, potentially install it like you would a rim lock where a bolt is going to be surface mounted on the pull side, and this would be mortised to the frame, okay, and it would stick off the face of the frame because your door sits in here and that bolt's going to be surface mounted. But in a Dutch door application, you're then going to mortise this down to the top, to the top of the lower leaf. So this is, this is just like a Dutch door strike as well, okay? And that's where you're probably going to end up using this. Now, why did this client buy four strikes only? Hard to say. They may have bought some strikes and realized, oh gosh, I've got the wrong strikes. They may have gotten mortise strikes, or they may have gotten an angle strike, and that doesn't work for their application. Uh, it could be that the strikes were taken off the frames, and the frames were painted and sealed and stained in the whole nine yards, and then they were promptly thrown away. Uh, could be just that reason as well. Screws are included. These are not brass, which is not necessarily a negative. Brass is a very soft base material, and when people are installing brass screws, they don't realize that it's brass, and they've not really pre-drilled the hole at all, and they just shear that screw right off. So the advantage of those being steel in a complementary finish is not necessarily a bad thing. Um, so that's probably where you're going to end up using this type of strike. Why there are four in that package, I don't know. This must just be a standard package that would come with the, you know, maybe there are two strikes. You know, there could be a mortise strike that might be involved. Okay, so you only need two for this. Uh, and uh, again, available in different finishes. Um, let's switch now to the screen view and let's take a closer look at the supporting information and where you would use this. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. Here is the item that we are looking at. Now I have some photographs linked to down below. There's the strike in its packaging, out of its packaging with the screws. Okay, showing you up close what it looks like. Just a front view, a side view of the strike. That's what you might see uh, when you're looking at, well, in a Dutch door application. I suppose if you were kneeling, you may see that. That's the underside. And there's your screw package. Okay, now, uh, extended description information. This is going to be used for their DB004 and DB006 Dutch door bolts. They're the same bolt, except that they're Length is just simply different. Oops. DB004. Small little surface bolt. Four inch or six inch is what this is. Now that bolt will come with the mortise strike and this, what they're calling a half moon strike. I think it would be appropriate to call it a rim strike. I'll describe that in a moment. And, you know, the description of what that is. Mortise and rim surface strike. So, well, they don't call it a half moon strike here. They call it a rim strike here. So, <clears throat> let's talk about where you would end up using this. But before we get to that, let's talk about the different finishes that this is available in. Now, 
Okay, 605 for polished brass. Uh, what they have here are the HMS and the MS, the Half Moon Strike or the Rim Strike and the Mortis Strike. So uh, 605 polished, US 3 polished brass, US 5 antique brass, six or US 10B oil rub bronze, 613, uh, 618 uh, US, uh, US 14 polished nickel, 619 or US 15 is satin nickel, um, US 19A, I think. Might be antique nickel. 620 is certainly antique nickel. I forget. Yeah, US 15A. I said 19A, I think. Forget that. It's US 15A. 622 or US 19 is black. 625 or, U, or, or 6, 625 or US 26 is polished chrome. 626 or US 26D, satin chrome. We have a three-digit code, and then we have a US number. The US number was brought into existence in about the 1930s. 26D tells us satin chrome. 626 is the BHMA code that tells us satin chrome, but it tells us more information that the US system does not tell us. I don't know when the BHMA system came into existence. My guess would be the 60s or 70s. US 26D says satin chrome, as does, US, as does 626, but 626 tells us it's a brass base material. You can do satin chrome or US 2060 on steel. That would be a 652 part number in the BHMA system. But because this is made of brass, it's proper to call it 626. Okay. So back to our item. That pretty much exhausts the extended description. Let's look at and see where you might end up using this. So we can reuse part of this prior drawing. Okay, so... If you recall, this will come with a mortise strike. It'll come with that funny half moon strike or rim strike. Okay. If your door swings out, you're probably going to want to take that mortise strike and put it here. Then you're going to add your bolt here. Okay. If you have a door that swings uh, in, so this is the inside at this point for a, for a mortise strike. Well, if now this is the inside, okay. You're probably going to take that mortise strike just like here. And then your bolt's going to be in this area here. Okay, so a rim strike or a half moon strike. Now, if it's a Dutch door, there's a cross section of an upper and lower leaf. Let's say that you have a shelf applied here and that your doors swing in, you're probably going to take that bolt and put it out here. Same thing, you're going to take that half moon strike and you're going to put it in here. So that'd be a Dutch door application where it's a right hand or a left hand swing and you've got that shelf hanging to the exterior of the opening. So that's where you'll use that stuff in my opinion. All right, now there is a link below this video here to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the you need hardware products that we sell by means of this horizontal navigation here, but also a link to the manufacturer's website. One thing to note about you need hardware is um, it's generally in stock and ready to ship. That's number one. Number two, if you need long surface bolts, and when I mean long, I don't mean 12 or 18 inch. I mean 24, 36, 48, and 60 inch. They probably have them in stock. That's what's me quite memorable about you need hardware. If you need 60 inch or 48 inch surface bolts, again, they probably have them in stock. I'm just getting to the page. So here are some 60 inch, the HD0060, 48 inch HD048. We're gonna come down to the next page. Uh, there'll be 36 inch and 24 inch, that would be uh, remarkable 
when it comes to you need hardware and that would be something you'd want to keep in mind um, and correlate long surface bolts and you need hardware. Let's wrap up this video on camera. If you are enjoying this video, please click thumbs up or like, and also please consider subscribing to our channel. Let's move on to the rest of the video. In conclusion, a very typical and common piece of equipment in the sense of what it is. It's not, I wouldn't say that it's common or typical to sell strikes by themselves. Um, you know, not sure uh, this is clearly a, a private individual who's bought four of these strikes. I can't say what they've used them for. They, you know, they may have been thrown out or they may be changing applications. They might have some bolts, you know, a, a solid brass surface bolt, uh, a 12-inch surface bolt from You Need Hardware. I'm going to pull it up here. You know, that's a $41 bolt, okay? Let's say that you had them with a strike and you're repurposing them. Well, they're, <laughs> they're your strikes. They're a lot less expensive to buy just the strike that you need. That's what this client could be doing as well. Hard to say. Maybe there's a different application that they have for these. Um, good, decent quality people over at You Need Hardware. Simple, straightforward, no nonsense. Send them a PO. They send you a tracking number. Any questions on the You Need Hardware DB000-605 or US3 HMS or rim strike or any other You Need Hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you. Again, thank you for watching, and if you've enjoyed this video, please click thumbs up, please subscribe, and maybe even send the video to someone that you know. Thank you.